It's hard to overstate just how critical ports are to our economy. They always have been. This is the port of Southampton. It alone supports more than 45,000 jobs, handles about 40 billion pounds worth of exports each year, and annually contributes around 2.5 billion pounds to the national economy. Perhaps less well known though, is the role ports play in delivering on the UK's pledge to be net zero by 2050. For the port of Montrose on Scotland's east coast, a willingness to embrace our green energy future has led to an economic windfall for the local community. Colin Wright has this report. Montrose has a long history. There's been some kind of port here since at least the 15th century. It's been a trust port for nearly 200 years, operating for the benefit of the local community. One of the first things you see here is this, a beautiful and detailed Lego model of the Norwegian offshore supply vessel, the Magne Viking, a regular visitor to Montrose over many years. And like the port's desire for a renewables hub, it's been steadily and carefully built up over a lengthy period, one tiny piece at a time. It kind of says who we are and what we're, we're involved with in the oil and gas sector. The Viking's a really important customer of ours. She's been coming in for years, a loyal customer. So I wanted to sort of thank them. Montrose Port's chief executive and harbour master, Captain Tom Hutchison, believes passionately in what he and his team are doing. I think there is a lot of pride in the port of Montrose. Vessel volumes have gone through the roof in the last sort of six years, mostly centred around chain and anchor. We're now the, I think, the busiest chain and anchor port in Europe. Most of its business is oil and gas, but that's about to change. Montrose Port Authority has been chosen as the operations and maintenance base for the Sea Green offshore wind farm, one of the biggest developments of its kind in Scottish waters. If you look at the longevity of the contract, it's 25 years. You know, we'll get regular port visits from the SOV, the service operations vessel, coming in every two weeks. So it's been fantastic. But the future for Montrose is renewables. When built, Sea Green will be just 27 kilometres offshore. A joint project with SSE Renewables and French company Total Energies, its 114 turbines will be Scotland's single largest source of renewable energy powering 1.6 million homes. We're currently trusted by the biggest names in the oil and gas industry, and obviously they are looking to transition along with us. So having that reputation is very key. As work continues at pace on the operations and maintenance base for Sea Green, local businesses are already feeling the benefit. There's a commitment to use local contractors wherever possible, and the developers plan to invest around 1.8 million pounds in a local community benefit fund. It's a fantastic piece of business. It's going to benefit not only the port, but also that wider region and supply chain. We're actively looking to reduce our carbon footprint within the port. For instance, we are replacing all our flood lighting to LEDs. That's a major step for us. We will be electrifying all our vehicle fleets. We will be putting solar panels on the top of all our warehousing, and then also looking to do some car charging points. And it's that ethos which led to Dorothy Shepherd someone with a long background in renewable energy, joining the Port Board of Trustees. I became a Montrose board member because I am extremely proud of the work that the team here does. Montrose is literally a gateway to the North Sea and their long established experience in the offshore energy industry through oil and gas as well as transportation and logistics are just ideal experiences for this sector. The role of offshore energy is critically important for oil and gas players, supply chain and established offshore wind developers. Montrose provides a sheltered haven almost half a mile long. It's hoping to benefit from renewables not only from offshore wind but decommissioning as big oil slowly winds down. Since 2011 the port has invested over £22 million in major quayside developments. This is one of its proudest services. Montrose is Europe's largest site for anchor and chain. Intermoor owns the largest amount of mooring chain worldwide. And from the base here in Montrose, we supply throughout Europe. 
all industries, from oil and gas through renewables and the construction industry. Port and its teams are very flexible with us here. The foundation that was built is allowing us to move forward with our clients to build a renewable business based here. Like the rest of the port, Steve's anchor and chain activities are happy to transition to renewables. It is, after all, the port's future. This is a harbour with a long history and one that is about to continue with a cleaner, robust and optimistic future. The port is at the heart of the community. It's not just the place that you see here. This is a very special place to do business with. Hopefully this will be a, the start of the transition into renewables. The future is really bright.